of many things. Snakes, spiders. You are afraid of spiders. Funny you should mention that. Do you know, according to USA Today, 9 out of 10 Americans are profoundly afraid of something. Everyone knows we've talked about it on the air. I have a little fear of flying. But our next guest, or at least this lady over here, Sue, has a big fear of spiders. This gentleman, Dr. James Durlacher, says he can help cure you of your fears, no matter what they are. Good morning. Good morning. And it doesn't take you a, a long time. Usually about 5 to 15 minutes, depending upon the situation. Sometimes longer, but that's the average, 5 to 15 minutes. You're kidding me. No. Very serious. Sue, how long have you been afraid of spiders? All my life. <laughs> Do you think he can help you get rid of that fear in 5 to 15 minutes? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I do either. So what do you do? Well, actually what we do is we tap on some specific acupuncture points that brings the energies back into balance so she can handle the situation without being afraid. It's so is it, ac it is acupuncture? It's, it's acupressure, you might say, uh, with no needles, just, just tapping on some particular points like that, and it works very, very rapidly. What is the toughest fear to help someone overcome? It depends upon the individual. I think... Uh, 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 fear spy, of flying? Could you help fear, me? Fear, we can, yeah, fear of flying is, is not that hard. Uh, generally, things that uh, uh, I think creatures such as spiders or, or snakes or bugs or things like that are some of the toughest to overcome. When did you realize that you had the ability to help people uh, get rid of their fears? Well, back about uh, 15 years ago, uh, uh, there was a psychologist by the name of Roger Callahan who presented a paper called The Five Minute Phobia Cure. And, uh, I, in my practice, uh, I have a lot of people who uh, have been in automobile accidents and uh, things like that, and they're afraid to go through intersections, uh, all kinds of post-traumatic stress like that. And uh, I, I'm not a psychologist, so uh, I'm a chiropractic physician, and uh, so I wanted a way to take care of this, and this is a very, very simple way, and it worked. Well, we have one of your assistants who is going to bring in a spider. We are putting this theory to the test. Sue, I know you're... You're a little prepared for this. Come on up here, Dusty. Now, see, I'm even afraid of something this big. Okay. <laughs> is, this, is, that, is that enough? Are you uncomfortable? Yeah. Is it the spider or is it being on live television? <laughs> take, take it away. <laughs> take, take it away. Okay, in yeah. about an hour, we're going to actually give you more time than uh, normal. In about an hour, we're going to come back, and we're going to see how close Sue will come to the spider and whether she'll even... I mean, are we hoping to put it on her hand? <laughs> or? Well, we, we, we are... Maybe. Okay. But uh, at least uh, she's going to be able to look at it and say, isn't he cute? Now, you haven't worked together before. I mean, you no. haven't been coaching her before. I, I, I met her this morning, and that was it. Okay. That's the first time I ever met her. Well, I am very interested to see if this works. So, Sue, thanks for being a good sport. I know your, your eyes are getting watery now. We'll, we'll let you relax for just a little bit. And uh, Dr. Gerlacher, thank you for being with us this morning. Well, thank you, Tara. So tune in at about 8.45-ish. We're going to see if Sue can deal with the spider. An hour ago, we had Dr. James Durlacher join us, and also Sue, who was extremely afraid of spiders. This doctor cures people of their fears, and you worked with Sue for, we gave you an hour, but it took you how long? About 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Sue, are you ready to touch the spider? Can you really do it? Go ahead. Go ahead. I gotta see this to believe it. She wouldn't even get... Wow. <laughs> Way to go! I, I, do you feel less afraid of it? Are you still a little leery? Or? Okay. I, I wouldn't want it out of the jar. You wouldn't want it out of the jar, but you said that's not what you cured her no, for. No, I, I, just, I just treated her for looking at it and for touching it. Out of the jar, that would be something else. Yeah. What did you do? Can you show us kind yeah, of what sure. you did? Uh, what we did is have her tap underneath her eyes, just take your glasses off a minute there, and tap underneath her eyes. Just tap underneath her eyes there, and then to balance her left and right brain, so that the, her imagination and logic would all get together. We had her tap on the back of her hand here, just like that. You tap there. Uh, and had her eyes open and closed, look down to the left, look down to the right, circle around this way, circle around that way, hum, count, and hum, which uses the left and right brain. And so her logic and her imagination can get together and say, okay, this isn't so bad. And that's how it works. Now, how did, what did you find out this, that tapping and humming and all this stuff put together works like that? Well, Dr. Roger Callahan, a clinical psychologist, uh, uh, took some work uh, with us and found that uh, energy meridians or acupuncture meridians in, in, in regard to physical things also have emotional things. And uh, if you can cure the physical things, why well, he surmised you could cure the emotional things. So he uh, worked with a lady he'd been working on for two years on a fear of water. She 
had such a fear of water, she couldn't even take a bath or a shower. Had to walk her with a washcloth. In two minutes, it was gone. You're kidding. And that's uh, it, it's in the book uh, that uh, we wrote there, the story about that. So you're saying also that this can work on things like curing an addiction to alcohol, an yes. addiction to drugs. And drugs, cigarettes. Uh, I used to weigh 193 pounds, and I'm too short for that. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, also, post-traumatic stress, uh, and uh, think people who have been through action, or people who have been through grief, and uh, uh, all those kind of things like that. Uh, we can wipe that out. Uh, loss of pets, loss of loved ones, and of course with you, the fear of flying. I know, I've got to work on that. I will be getting with you after this. In fact, that's probably another story we'll do, see if it can cure me of my fear of flying. But I do fly, so I'm working on it. I want to thank you. First of all, Sue, congratulations on catching the spider. I never thought she'd do it. And mention, uh, the book out